Hey friends, welcome to the Stationery Cafe, your podcast for everything stationery, journaling, and planning related. This is April from Penguins Creative, and we have Kelly from Kelly Love Letters here with me today to talk about living the analog life and fun things in the community. So join us with a drink, and let's chat about what's new in the stationery world. How's it going, Kelly? It's good. I've uh, decided to try the Spindrift um, half tea and half lemon Oh, Have the, you tried this one? the caffeinated sparkling waters. Yeah, so it's not terribly caffeinated. Oh. It's less caffeine than two ounces of coffee. So I'm having it now and I hope <laughs> it doesn't mess me up. Because it's it's like set almost 8 p.m. right now at <laughs> the yeah. time of recording. Um, I was enjoying a QOO <laughs> jelly drink throwback to Japanese convenience stores or Taiwanese. Nice convenience stores it was a tummy filler before um our recording and then later i'm gonna have dinner so <laughs> but yeah april didn't have dinner yet and i'm sad for her right. oh what's and that drinking water and i just wanted to show off the new paper versus sloth sticker i got from oh, uh, cute. this cute little store in pike place which i'm going to talk about very briefly in my recap um and i stuck it onto my starbucks you know those like cold cups that they sell that color changes as the yep. as you put in icy like drinks. I've been using mm. this for two years now. It's so good. Oh wow, nice! <laughs> and it has a cookie sticker too. It has a lot of my <laughs> iconic uh, me- memories. On oh, the penguin stickers. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Nice. Uh, so how's it been? It's been a while. Are you all settled in now in your new home? I'm absolutely not, but <laughs> I'm getting there. I <laughs> there just keeps being lots of things happening, and I I feel like that's is that just life as an adult is just it's busy all the time and you never get time. Oh man, no, I kind of feel that you're not alone with all the things going on outside of our country in this world in uh, our own little universe. Like still, like it's just been this past two weeks just flew by for me actually yeah (laughs) i cannot believe it's already like october's over halfway over now and i'm like where what happened to the best month 2024 is coming oh my goodness (laughs) it's just a lot what happened to the best month because it's it's like the halloween month (laughs) yeah i i don't know i'm still trying to figure that out but you know. I do enjoy looking at the leaves changing color, especially yes. like in I think Portland too, right? You get a lot of that oh, yeah. wet, damp, but like orangey yes. kind of like yes. tree lined uh, roads or streets that you either yep. drive through or walk down. It's actually pretty nice. Like <laughs> Yeah. Um it's amazing. <laughs> um so I'll, I'll update first. I had a good weekend last week. Um, my my friend Jasmine, Jasmine Marie Plans, visited yes. Seattle. And I had just came back from uh, my Taiwan trip. Um, and so it was like nonstop from one trip to the next. I basically had yeah. like a staycation in Seattle because I filled up the long weekend. I took Friday off. So I had mm-hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I filled it up with like... As if I was planning a trip at a new city, like the itinerary yeah. was like packed. You know how like when you come up to Seattle, and I always plan, oh yeah, <laughs> where where are we going for breakfast? Where are we going for lunch? What is our like approximate area we're gonna walk around? Dinner, oh, yeah. dessert. <laughs> yep, I I did that all over again, and I feel like this time because the last time I've done something like this, you know, you haven't been up very often haven't really had like the full weekend of doing it yeah Yeah. and so this time it felt very special because i went to a lot of neighborhoods that i haven't visited honestly like maybe once or twice since the pandemic happened like capitol hill Mm -hmm. i the last time i stepped foot in elliot bay bookstore was like 2018 probably oh really (laughs) yeah i love elliot bay it's It's been that long i know i went upstairs and then there was like this like huge table where you can like read or the upstairs yeah there's an upstairs (laughs) right i want to go 
they have that nice cafe downstairs because yeah. there's a stairs that goes up to like the the nature and the human humanity section of the books and then they have a huge common table so that was really nice like we actually That's amazing journaled at a bookstore um so good went to both Starbucks groceries, um, Starbucks Reserve, the one in Capitol Hill, which is like mm-hmm. this busy and like tourist trap. I don't recommend it. No. And went to the Reserve Soda, which is our preferred location. Really nice. Yeah. But my favorite rediscovery is Pike Place. Oh my goodness. Pike Place yeah. is so nice now. Like they <laughs> they knocked down the viaduct, right? Do you remember the oh, viaduct? Right. Yep. And they were really trying to push for this like market to the waterfront expansion mm-hmm. along the mm-hmm. aquarium. There's more access from the market level down to the waterfront. And so all along that strip of development, there's like new stores, new shops, um, paper versus sloth or uh, no sloth versus robot sloth like the animal sloth like the one that uh-huh. like hangs down yeah. from the tree <laughs> i just did like a, a imitation of what a sloth looked like and i think that was kind of silly <laughs> no you did i got there <laughs> and they did like cute illustrations and like they made stickers t-shirts postcards washi tape um and they in their store they had a bunch of thousand skies um plushies and stickers too nice. so that was really cute uh, another cute little indie brand in Seattle called Marnin Sailor that does the. Have you heard of the pastry pets, like no. the, the donuts? That's like a kitty or like a, a maple bar. That's kind of like a rabbit. So anyway, like this Aww. whole whole line is by this this duo. One's called Marnin. One's called Sailor. S a y l o r. But anyway, okay. they. The last time I visited them was like 2018 at like a pop-up mm-hmm. market up on the upper level of the pie place. And they now have like an entire store dedicated to their pastry pets. Um, That's cute. Like set up inside pie place market in one of the down under stories, the hidden mm-hmm. lower levels that yeah. usually tourists don't really go to. Like you have to go. It's so cool. And so I talked to them. I was like, oh, my God, last time you guys were just, like, at the market. I was, like, I bought a T-shirt. I bought hoodies for both my husband and, my, mm-hmm. and I, bought stickers. And then, like, I can't believe that you guys have a store now. And the guy, like, looked at me. The One of their uh, shopkeeper was like, oh, yeah, we actually have this since the end of 2019. And I was like, whoops, <laughs> that's how long. <laughs> I haven't been back to the market. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oops. And we're in 2023 now. (laughs) (laughs) They've had that store for three years and I just never knew. So it's, it's kind of cool. It's also kind of funny. Lots of new ice cream places, lots of new chocolate places. Like Mm. the food is like getting better and better at Pike Place. Nice. Um, And naturally with such a trip, definitely filled up almost half of a new refill um, oh in, really in my, in my traverse notebook i just print too much photos <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i used a new starbucks <gasps> reserve you collaboration that, that uh, traverse notebook did with the japan roastery and yeah i like collected oh, um, I love business one. cards illustrated mm. doodles printed out photos of cookie <laughs> when jasmine was here and like printed out like you know nice. took packaging from you know the typical things that we do when we travel like we buy something yep. we keep the packaging we we ask for yep. postcards at like take brochures that were lying around the shop so did all that you know bought a bunch yeah. of postcards and really had a fun time enjoying seattle as a, as a tourist like from a tourist point of view basically yeah kind of like a a local in the no slash tourist perspective. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do that in Portland too. I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, exactly. So it was really nice. Um, other than that, just kept busy. Was posting on my YouTube channel a lot. I've been doing a lot of like, you know, videos lately. Um, trying to revive my partner status <laughs> for my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing that conversation. Um, yeah. And I think there was just one day, I think was it 
yeah, it was the last weekend. So the trip was last last weekend, but this previous weekend, it was just like, okay, I'm not going out. I'm not like it's the complete opposite of the previous weekend. I was like, I'm staying home. <laughs> I'm catching up, cleaning the house, doing everything I needed to do, and. I think on the Saturday I streamed on Twitch, and then for the next three hours I just journaled in my Hobonichi, mm-hmm. all, all the blank pages, like nice. And it's hey, not- I thought you were okay with not having, but ba- or with having. Well, blank here's pages. the thing: I didn't like write or fill them up. Instead, I just like did huge cookie doodles in the blank pages, um, <laughs> just like a giant like illustration of like cookie putting his like head between my knees <laughs> Cute. Um, just like large photos of like Aww. cookie curled up like <laughs> cookie sniffing for a pee spot like just things like that you know to really fill up the space <laughs> yeah, yeah i like that so that was really fun it was a kind of revisiting hobonichi too in my old way so it was a mm-hmm. it was a very much a memory lane situation um this past week nice. so and you <laughs> oh man um <laughs> journaling wise anything exciting <laughs> so something i didn't write on there and now i have to double check what i actually said oh yeah <laughs> well it's sort of adjacent to a couple of things that I bought. So um, this last weekend, what happened? I, Mike and I, we went to Oblation and uh, I really wanted to get some just cardstock to print out some invitations that I designed uh, for my best friend's daughter's fifth birthday party. Oh, cute. Uh, (laughs) Because they were like, Kelly, you should draw it because apparently, so this girl... So so my friend Amanda is super, like, not a girly girl at all, and her daughter is super girly and, like, <laughs> loves the Disney princesses and loves all the pink stuff, but this girl wanted a Zubat-themed birthday party, and Zubat is, like, this scary Pokemon. <laughs> The bat-like Pokemon, right? <laughs> and, well, because she their last name is Batty, so she she like loves bats, everything bats she loves, and it's just I just think it's very cute that she's like, I like pink princesses, but I also like scary bats. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a nice juxtaposition there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I um, so I was able to print some off, got that stuff, and then um, I do want to talk about the fact that at my new job. Um, You know, I take phone calls. It's not like all day or anything like that. But when I do, like, my job provided this, like, uh, let's see, it's, it's probably in between an A5 and an A6. It's a very small Amazon Basics, like, legal pad. I know exactly what you're talking about. No, no, (laughs) that that legal pad is everywhere, like, in my old job, too. (laughs) Yeah, and it's like, you know, I was dealing with it, but, like, so I don't have my, um... I don't yet have headphones through the job, so I've just been physically holding a a physical phone up rather than just using the Ring Central app that a lot of those jobs have, which they have, but I just don't have the headphones yet. Anyway, Mm -hmm. so I'm sitting there with the phone, you know, in the crook of my I know, your your shoulder all hitched (laughs) up. (laughs) And like... And I'm, like, writing phone notes, and then this Amazon Basics pad is, like, drifting on the desk, and I'm like, this has got to end. Like, I I can't live like this. Um, so at Oblation, I was, like, looking around for some kind of desk pad, and then I realized, and I don't have it with me to show because it is at work, but it's um, it's a B5 Nemesine, or Nemosine, however you say that brand, the it's like a plastic black cover. It's a spiral mm-hmm. bound. Yep. You can get it in all different uh, variations. I got the dot grid one. And it's perfect. It lays lays just there. I don't have to worry about it moving around. And it feels good. And it's perforated pages. And I'm like, this is just this is what I need. It's like elevated like wear, <laughs> right? Yes. Like tools, polished good tools for and a person. Yeah. <laughs> so and I think I mentioned this last time, but I am using my pilot frictions at work and I'm really actually enjoying it a lot because, nice. you know, it's the type of notes that uh, it's nice to be able to erase. And also, I don't care it, what happens to them because it's 
it's not like information that has to stick around for a long time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, I feel like that's what friction pens were made for, was for work. And making it kind of cute and exciting because there's all the different colors. <laughs> the frictions do target, like, you know, I feel like student all the way up to, like, the non-essential note crowd, which is, yes. like, a huge part of the population. Yes! So, so yeah. Nice. Yeah, so I, I've, I've been enjoying that. Um, <laughs> and then what else did I say? I was talking about the... The, the um, Japanese stationery. <laughs> oh God, it's just like I ended up oblation ended up stocking some. Uh, I think they're Midori brand, but it's like those rub on things. But it it was like a metallic gold rub on sticker. Yeah, yeah, thing. that's Midori. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so I I bought those and I like had to hold myself back from buying a lot more because <laughs> you know. Since we're going to Japan, I'm like, you can't buy too much Japanese stuff. Um, and then in terms of what I've been journaling about, I'm I'm excited to share this with you, April. I broke out the five year. Oh. Because here's the thing. I was well, first of all, I got I forgot, it out because I forgot about what? mine already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where it is. <laughs> and, yeah, I unpacked it and found it and went, oh, so <laughs> This page has stickers from, um, what do you call this? The customized sticker set from Traveler's Notebook. Like, I put one of those gold foil stickers on from each year of the five year. Oh, wow. So, so it like, when I started that the first year, I was like, this is going to look so sick. And now it's finally complete. And I'm like feeling all like I've got the infinity stones. I'm Thanos. Oh, that I was, just realized. <laughs> that was 2023, 2022, 2021, 2020, 2020 and 2019. Yeah. So it was no, the... it's 2020 through 2024. Right, right, right. Because you yeah. can this one. Okay, so, oh, oh right, 2024. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. the next year. So, what so was I've the... got a whole other year. What was the <laughs> theme again? Sources. So there was the book one, right? Then the Yeah, moves. so wait, the 2020 was... It was, I think it was just like the random, it's got this globe. Mm -hmm. It was like the random desk stuff theme. Oh, right. The desk tool, the the tool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh Uh, 2021 was the book, which was this moon. Travel Uh, in your mind, something, something (laughs) with their books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 2022 was the record. Movies. Um, Yes. Mm -hmm. Was it movies? Yeah, it was the movies and soundtracks. Oh, right, right, right. A movie set, blah, blah. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then of course, the, this, this the year's cafe is the cafe. One. And then I put this ice cream parlor nice. sticker. For Traveler's Town. And I also realized, check this out. <laughs> oh, no, the, your, your page is coming apart. It's fine. It's the most, That's like you. the most essential page featuring your stickers. And that's the one falling apart. No, it's, it's fine. Perfect. It'll be fine. So... <laughs> I got this out and I was like, you know, showing part of it to Mike and like, oh, isn't this cool? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to like try. I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to pick it up again. No, I'm starting now. (laughs) It's five years. (laughs) Next year? Starting next year? (laughs) That was my first thought was, I'm going to do this next year. And I'm like, Kelly, it's literally like, you can do it now. Well, Mine ends this year, and I'm glad to be rid of it. Yeah, you know, it's... Let me just tell people, like, when the five-year Hobonichi came out, and we were all so excited, oh, it's such a cool new thing, don't be tempted if it's not, like, I don't know, it seems like a good idea, and then maybe it's not. (laughs) But it works for a lot of people, and it literally, it worked for me for two entire years, and then I was like, mm... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it worked like, for me for what? two and a half years too. I think it would be interesting to still keep around to just see because it definitely yeah. had like the wildest time of our lives, right? Oh like, yeah, the pandemic and like I don't know, was it the election? Mine, mine had twenty years. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, lots of wild stuff in there. So yeah, I, for sure. <laughs> as we approach Techo Kagi season, I have yes. pondered the potential of opening up my Midori three-year journal. Oh, that's right. So, Wait, you haven't started that yet? No, I never started it because I was oh. like, I need to finish my five years. So maybe, maybe I will reference 
key milestones mm-hmm. from the A5, uh, five-year journal, A5, mm-hmm. five-year journal, <laughs> and then my five-year A6 um, one, and then transfer it maybe as like keynotes to my Midori. Who knows? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. May, not yes. committing anything yet. Yeah. But I, I feel you on the going to Japan, the try not to buy stationary thing. Because I totally failed and I like rationalized it. So this is my acquisition now. Oh, <laughs> I, no. I went on Nico Neko. Oh, yeah, just, what the heck? It, what are you doing with and these? And it was, it was just for fun too. It was just like Nico Neko just checking out just for fun. Oh, oh I know why. Because they, they, they had an illustrator do their storefront postcard in the autumn theme. And it was oh. so cozy and beautiful. It's on their Instagram. And so I wanted to get that postcard. And then I was just like browsing around, clicking things. And then like I came across the tag, TAG tag stationery, which is that Kyoto, the Kyoto, like a, it's the stationery that does the, the inks, the Kyono Oto inks, mm-hmm. the Euro, Kyo Euro inks. They have like these glass um, dipping kind of thingies <laughs> called puddles, ink puddles. And so... To my defense, this is not my first time seeing it and then buying it. I okay. had did this like a few months before. And the, also the reasoning was like, oh, I'll wait till Japan. Like I'll wait till Japan to buy it. But now that I'm thinking about it, I was like, because I wanted the set of ink puddles. It's like a medium size and a small size. And they have like this tiny, tiny concave um, kind of cone shape uh, hole for you to drizzle a few dips of your ink so that you can dip your glass pen into and then kind of like a, a very nice ink holder they call it the ink puddle so i have wanted this for a while <laughs> now and yeah. like my rationale is i'll buy it in japan but then my next thought is like today like not today i didn't buy this today i buy this last, i bought this last week but my thought was like what if i don't get to see these products in japan mm. because on the tag stationery website, this item has been out of stock four, five months ago when I checked. Oh, okay. And right now, it's still out of, out of stock. And I was like, where do you even go to get tag stationery? Like, they don't seem to have a storefront. And so I was, yeah. I was like, a lot of scenarios going through my head. I'm mean, like, if Nico Nico just ships it to me, it's probably faster. It's kind of like... You know, it was only a fifteen to twenty dollar upcharge. <laughs> like, you know, just kind of <laughs> making making it make sense in my head. Yeah, is is this what they call girl math? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I got it. Uh, I haven't. It hasn't arrived yet, but I'm really much looking forward to it. And then, you know, I can start using it now, a month before I go to Japan. So. So I feel like for those that haven't seen it, it's. Like when you call it an ink puddle, it doesn't really make sense. I know you sort of explained it, but it's it's basically like an ink well. Yeah, but that's like a great a word very, for it. <laughs> but a very very small amount of ink, which is cool for those of us that you know want to try a bunch of different ones and you don't want to waste any, but you want it to be in a little tiny amount. But something Mike said that he was here earlier. He said, like glass because it's glass, so like a glass container with a glass pen we all know how that turned out well, for that's me. why you have to be careful because <laughs> tag obviously made a bunch of these type of products and no one else had a problem like yeah, it's yeah. it's just like the ferris wheel carousel thing oh but more practical like the yeah. ferris wheel thing you have to tilt it to get like enough of a depth for the ink to gather so you can dip your nip tips into it the nip tip but now that with, I don't work in the industry anymore, that's a total waste of money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that I now. like <laughs> dislike that thing so much. But the tax not- day, <laughs> the tax station ink puddle, basically you get to like conserve so much ink because that that space is like a cone, like a think mm-hmm. of an ice cream cone. So it actually like is narrower but deeper so that you make the best use of that several. Yeah like cc or milliliter that you like decide to drip into the inkwell which is how these things should be designed so yes, like, <laughs> i can respect it i can totally respect it so um i've been wanting it and they look so nice they're literally like glass organic 
thin little trays, round trays with that little like residue inside. Little cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw his little head poke oh. up. Oh my god. <laughs> it was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um so I know I'm so excited for these. I can't wait to use them. And I yeah, feel like I'm, I, I was do... kind of making fun of you a little bit when you when I saw that in the in the show notes. I'm like, is she for real right now? And I'm like, okay, they're kind of cool. They are kind of <laughs> cool. Well, another useless stuff I bought though <laughs> is from <laughs> uh, I cracked into my Taiwan Creative Expo haul and I bought a clay bird. <laughs> that's so cute what is it for it's nothing it's just a cute <laughs> little thingy it's a desk friend <laughs> it's a desk friend yes so this it's is so by, cute it's by avocado mori and in oh, taiwan nice. and she made these cute little chubby birds and They're so adorable. She, she made like 20 or so and they all have different things on their head like some had like a hat some oh. had like a flower and so i chose one where it's like a book half open and just kind of like sitting on the on the bird it's like it's like a book hat yeah a book (laughs) bird (laughs) a book bird a bird with a book hat so it's just sitting there and the the book is painted this really nice deep blue which actually Mm. miraculously matches the toyoka craft pen tray in the hinoki blue oh so it's just sitting now this bird is just sitting in the pen tray so my, it just goes with it. With my fountain pens, and it all just like perfectly matches each other. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. See, I have not. Uh, I have not completely unboxed my fountain pens. Like I have. Like I'm really proud of this tray because I curated it, and it looks all beautiful together. Ooh. It's like all purple, blue, pinkish, green, kind of. Yeah, pink. Well, maybe yeah. only a little green. <laughs> no, you you would not count that as green. Um, but other than this beautiful uh, tray, I all my pens are like in rickshaws and like I do have my Toyoka craft tray, but it's kind of it's a little chaotic in my <laughs> desk right now. Uh, but I'm giving myself grace because moving. Do you is have hard. the same amount of desk space as your previous yeah. place? Oh, so it's the same desk. Okay. Yeah, same desk, just. Uh, Need to needs, figure my life out again. <laughs> needs organization. <laughs> yes. And I want to apologize on behalf if we're doing a video for this one, just that my covers look kind of crappy over Who there. Who makes but... their bets these days? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Sorry, sorry not sorry. I know. I, I don't make my bets every day, so. <laughs> um, all right. This is a little section that I wanted to like kind of cut in before we get into more like yeah. new stuff. But I was thinking fall, it's fall time. The leaves are falling. Mm-hmm. Is there any stationery that you own that you're feeling appreciative of? And I'll kick off. I was just feeling very fond of my Shachihara ink pads lately. Like mm-hmm. I, I bought a bunch of stamps, um, like wooden stamps from Taiwan. I use a lot of them lately. And Especially the ones where it's like the mixed color mm, round I love ones. Those ones. So this one particularly is a mix between green, red, orange, and yellow, and it's co- literally called autumn leaves. And it is yeah. just hitting all my vibes right now. Yes, with, with using when I use them in my journal. Um, Man, I'm, I'm excited to break my stamps out too. <laughs> no, they're so fun. Like I feel like there's something really satisfying. It's kind of like sticking that sticker down that mm-hmm. we described before, but more of like you know when you ink it and then you like press it on oh, the page. And when it's perfect, oh. you lift it and it's perfect. Exactly. <laughs> and there's like nothing sh- like it. Shachihata ink pad helps you do that. Like it's so good. You it's guys, like they you've do. Gotta get they do eighty percent of the work of stamping. They like, really do. It's so good. Like unless your your hand really wobbles or something. Um, the other color combo is the sound of rain because it's been raining oh, so much. Um, yes. Purple, Murasaki purple, like light purple, green, mm-hmm. a little bit of yellow. So these two colors are really hitting me in the feels. Yes. Especially since I'm using a lot of like word stamps that are yes. like very emotional, like base. You know so. I love these yeah. so much. <laughs> Can we also talk about the fact that I I guess maybe we briefly talked about it already, but the weather this October is so much more October than 
last year's because last year was basically prolonged summer and it was dumb oh was it like was there a day where it was super hot like the heat? yes like oh the God. whole month now that i kind of remember <laughs> yeah so april's like oh those were the good times no those... it was terrible i know <laughs> so... i was sad to like you know not use our ac <laughs> and like having to like put on extra jacket when i walk yes, in the morning it's the best so yes I, yesterday it was raining so hard in the morning we still have to take cookie out so the uh-huh. two of us cookie and i like ran through the rain to get his like <laughs> potty chore done <laughs> we were like run, run run to the patch of grass cookie peed and then we like ran back into the backyard <laughs> we were a mess <laughs> that's cute yeah it was pouring down rain yesterday it was crazy it was exactly really really that, heavy that's yeah. what i was talking about and we still had to go out in the rain like cookie felt the urgency too he was i dressed him up and like i had to put on the rain jacket on him so oh, yeah. it was like half covered but like we were both <laughs> soaked by the time we came in it was so bad <laughs> yeah um any stationery you're appreciative of yes i didn't write anything down but i'm gonna say it and i think i have made of made of i might have might have talked about just it the fact that like every year i like to ink a pen up with pumpkin and this year i did my too hot habanero that, have I talked about the fact that Mike made this section all matte? No, no. Like he kind he kind of sanded it down and like oh. so the the section like feels nice. It does mean that ink kind of soaks into it a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> but but it, with the orange, it looks cool though. I don't know, and it it's does. got my little Halloween converter. Oh, so cute. I just yeah. and you know I. I've been like, what should I ink this up with now? My o- bright orange Twisby, Twisby heat. And then my Kirk pen that I put Autumn Oak in. It's the Narwhal Nautilus Kirk Spear Pen Realm mm-hmm. Limited Edition with a gold nib. <laughs> so and many I got, words. <laughs> I, I got Mike to uh, kind of, like, it was really thick, actually. So I got him to kind of, like, make it a little smaller. Nice. So... You know, just pen things. You got all your pens in a row. Um, are you interested in that, like pumpkin pen? Oh, sorry, pumpkin, pumpkin ink. That's a hard word to say. Um, For the from, Tokyo International yeah, Pen Show, that's like the yes. kabocha yellowish pumpkin color. So here's here's the thing about like, and of course I'm saying this now, but I will probably eat my words later, but. In terms of these hard-to-get special edition inks, I kind of feel like, you know, I've been there, I've done that, I've bragged about it all over the place. <laughs> and, you know, I it's one of those things that I'm not going to be devastated if I don't get it. But it's called pumpkin. But if someone happened to be going to the Tokyo International Pen Show, like a certain <laughs> podcast host that we know. I mean, there's so many people outside of him that also <laughs> are going to, I mean, if, you know. If someone right. decided to get me a bottle, and I, I would pay them for it, of course. I mean, I, I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> but I also don't want to just like, oh, I don't have it. It's, uh, you know. That's but true. Also. Like it's like it's fine if you don't have it. It'd be cool too if you have it because it's like that yeah. really nice like chestnut pumpkin. Yellow. It's yeah. It's a really good because I think we talked about this before. The kabocha Japanese pumpkin is like a lighter color than mm-hmm. the pumpkins we have here because the pumpkins yellow. we have here look like this. The, the twisby heat. Twisby heat orange. <laughs> it yeah, looks it's like super bright orange. It's like very <laughs> orange here. Um, but the Japanese pumpkins they have like the exterior is like greenish kind of yes. like. Um, and they're really yeah. pretty and yeah i totally would you're very delicious too <laughs> that would probably that would probably look good in here like a little contrast yeah or even in the kirk pen that kind of has a i don't know that light golden color it would anyway. actually match kirk's pen a lot and then you can put yeah. some oak in the heat yes that's what i should put in here oh my god i don't yeah. know i just <laughs> because the autumn know. oak is a little bit more orangey in my opinion than yellow it is yeah also, before I forget, I saw, I believe it was either Gold Spot or Atlas Stationers on Instagram. Don't remember which one. They posted that they got their infant calendars in and it took everything in me to not call Oblation and be like, do you guys have it yet? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm, tr- 
trying not to be that customer, but it's really hard. Oh my God. So this year, for some random win, I almost wanted to get it. I yes. like, I went to the process of even like going to Colt Pens because they have the best price, even though it ships from the UK. Mm. Was was thinking about adding some stuff to make it free shipping. But even uh-huh. with, with sh- free, even with shipping, it adds up to just a hundred ish, which is still pretty nice. Had it in it's my only like fifteen dollars less, but okay. <laughs> same whatever. And like I had it in my shopping cart, was almost checking out, and then I was like, April, what are you doing? <laughs> like stop so i i didn't but who knows what might happen down the road. <laughs> i mean it's a long time till december so yeah, i know yeah but i'm excited that you're get, you get to at least are you helping oblation swatch i exchange? mean i'm yeah i'm gonna do my little i mean i already pre-ordered it when i was still an employee so that part's covered <laughs> no <laughs> i see you already had it already okay. i already got that but <laughs> um but I will definitely do the little thing where I put the swatches on the back of the display mm-hmm. box and, you know, customers can see it if they want to. If y'all want to see a little bit more of Kelly and Oblation. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming they even want me to, because like there are some really talented people that they hired um, nice. doing all sorts of cool artwork. So maybe they'll do it without me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same without the Kelly. That's true. Yeah. You know. I just bring that extra, extra sparkle, especially because it's the ink vent calendar. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Shout out uh, brands, creators, new items. I want to shout out Paper Treat. Did you see oh, yes. that she published the second edition that she called the fall edition of her Paper Treat kind of newspaper that she yes. did at San Francisco Pen Show, which is super cool. And so she did one, which was actually a really interesting topic. She interviewed the president of Cyan, who is like a washi tape company (laughs) in Japan. So I was like, of course, she's like the perfect person to do it. She speaks Japanese. Like she's she's like the bridge between Japanese stationery and the U.S. community. So she totally is. It's kind of like I can't think of a better person to like better kind of like, you know, and she's like eloquent and a good writer too. So it was just like ah, the the perfect harmonious kind of result. Um, mm-hmm. You know, we we have people like CY doing doing it for us in the fountain pen community, but I feel like in the journaling community, we have yet to really see that cool. Yeah, that's true. Integration of 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 a, a person here in the U.S. that like acutely and can talk to like reps in Japan. Not necessarily only on like the Traveler's Notebook or like the the more upscale analog tools, but like these really like much smaller items, more kawaii, more like mm-hmm. mass market stuff, like the cyan washi tapes. So I'm like excited, you know. So yeah. Looking forward I love to that. what she does in the future. <laughs> and like I need to collect this newspaper, which means I need to buy something from her again. Yep. <laughs> Again, going back to the trying to not buy Japanese stationery before going to Japan, but failing horribly. <laughs> thing. Yeah, <laughs> yep. That's uh, every time. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I feel like I need to take back one of my word. Someone who has been doing that really nicely was Ayako from Two Things from Japan. Oh, yeah. With her monthly newsletter. So oh, just a, an additional person. So there we go. I have to. Well, and myself. it's also, it's cool to have, you know, somebody on, on the ground in the U.S. too, you know. And I know, exactly. It's like the two kind of like, they're they're both great bridges, in my opinion. Oh my like God, yes. Cute, ja- cute Japanese stationery. They're, you they're know, both like, landmarks. <laughs> and it's like, it's finally, it felt great because I feel like no one really advocates for the cute kawaii stationeries much yet we do. Like, we, we do and like a lot of other people look down and like it's like cheap stickers it's cute washi like whatever no, but i'll show like... you a cheap sticker let's go to michael's <laughs> <laughs> that's, like that's not what this right? is exactly that's that's exactly my point so i was just like yes <laughs> highlight on the cute row of washi tape like because i have a ton of cyan washi tape that's just like 
food of the world do you know that yep. series where it's like yep, i do <laughs> just endless endless rotation of like pastries from germany so i had a ridiculous amount of those stickers of washi tape from cyan and they're like super cheap like a dollar a pop um from amazon japan but anyway um, oh wow yeah that's, that's i'm gonna be I'm in doing. trouble when we're when we're there oh my god we're gonna be in so especially on our stationary day i'm really really excited <laughs> It's gonna That's be like, like a we're holding the basket and we're just like sweeping it in there like a candy like you know the candy gasha machines in Japan oh, yeah. where where like they do the sweeping thing instead of the claw. Yep. <laughs> so that's us. At I'm definitely. I'm yes. I'm definitely <laughs> gonna need to uh, get my hands on. I'm. I'm pretty sure I have like one of those bigger suitcases. I need to just check it. An empty one. Yes. Of course, how can yeah. you not? <laughs> That's just what I need to do. I have to. It, like I was talking with Akane, um, which is CY's better half, um, <laughs> and uh, you know, I was like, "Man, I feel like maybe I should set some kind of budget for myself." But I like, you know, I feel like when I'm there, I might as well just do the thing because the yen is such so cheap or so weak right now, and. And she's like, yeah, you know, I think technically you'd be doing yourself like you'd basically be wasting money by not spending it. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and we, I'm like, wait. <laughs> we love stationary math. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's like, you've got to make those that carbon emission worth it from the plane ride. I'm like, no, you're, you know, I'm just, I, <laughs> I have to well, give back. <laughs> you have to do it for the environment. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how that works, but you know. <laughs> Actually, this is beyond math now. It's stationary science. <laughs> yeah. There's some degree of physics in there, some degree of like balance, like there's some something. His history, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, wait, what did you just say to me? Oh, no, that's what we were just going on a tangent. <laughs> um, so can I talk about this thing? Yes. Go for it. Okay. So it's this kind of an awkward transition. Sorry, everybody. But so I did a um, poll on my Instagram page. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, maybe two, maybe that. I don't remember. But I was like, listen, what do you use this part of a Hobonichi for? I'll show it to you right now because you guys all know what I'm talking about. Mm. This, what do we call this part, April? The, what the is this big, called? The big calendar. <laughs> no, no, sorry. The yearly <laughs> condensed view. I would, I would call will. it maybe like year at a glance. Well, no, year at a glance is like smaller. There's even um, the year at the glance, but this is the one at the front of the Hobonichi cousin where yeah. like they divvy up, like each page has three vertical rows. Oh, sorry, vertical columns that depict three months, and then the yeah. number, the rows are the days of the month. And yeah, and so it's it's essentially like the quote unquote traditional bullet journal calendar, the vertical one, yeah, where it's yeah. got like one mm -hmm. through thirty one vertically down. Yep. And then it has all these like it. A lot of people use it for a tracker, but I was like, listen, that doesn't work for me. I because for me personally, with trackers like that. I get unmotivated and I don't see the immediate progress. So I always, I personally like to do weekly trackers because Which at the end of the so week. Which is so funny because in your weeks, you do the temperature tracking and you do your finest yes. tracking hey, just that's like different. that. That's <laughs> different though. It's, it's, I should clarify habit tracking specifically. Doesn't okay. Work okay. For me that way. Yeah, that's right. But other, <laughs> other miscellaneous tracking you love. But those are fun tracking. <laughs> So, nice. so basically, I I got uh, quite a few responses. So thank you to the people that responded. I wanted to kind of go through what happened. Cool. Um, so it was overwhelmingly kind of the obvious one. People said uh, holidays, birthdays, anniversaries. Mm, good idea. There were se seven responses said that. And I was like, yeah, okay. Boring. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> To each their own. I I usually put those in the. Um... <laughs> Birthdays <laughs> are important. This <laughs> no, I cannot I tell you. Oh my god! This I was just having this revelation this year. Is like this year I am such a bad friend because I forgot every <laughs> single person's birthday, including my own mother's. Like in this past two well, years, has been 
just wild. I just That's cannot、brutal. remember a single person's <laughs> birthday except my own and Elliot's. So, <laughs> so, so I use the just the normal monthly section. That's where I, I personally put the birthdays. Okay, good. But okay, so no shade.、Um, the one with four votes was Notebook Index.、Mm. Um, so it's basically like how. The type of people that use Hobonichi as a bullet journal. So, you know, for example, if they wrote, like, if if they wrote, I don't know, a recipe or something on, on the the main pages of like January sixth, I wrote this recipe. So then, in the little tiny、um, calendar, they would just write recipe for cake or whatever. That's、And、such a great idea. Oh my、right? goodness! I need to start doing that because I just have so many miscellaneous things that's hidden in my Hobonichi daily pages. Yeah, like there's like really significant days, and then there's the days where I just draw cookie between my knees.、Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I should really use that to keep track of like the significant days, like、yeah. milestone days, like. Bought this pen, or like you know,、yep. went went to this trip, and then this way when you、went、look at Taiwan, it, went to Taiwan again. I'm <laughs> that hurts, but and then <laughs> and then like that would really be a year at a glance. Yep. Yeah.、Oh、so、God. thank you to those four people that said that. Smart、um, stealing two, that idea. Two、really. people said daily gratitude, which I feel like personally. That would be really hard. You could just write one word, though. I mean, it's very small.、Space. It's too small for a sentence. Yeah. yeah. So you could say just cat, or <laughs> that's what I'm grateful for. Cats are the best. Um, but no, that's cool. Uh, and then two other people said, uh, health slash meds and period tracking.、Mm-hmm. For those of, of us with periods, important. it's important to track. Um, and then all these other ones just had one vote each. So, planning work holidays, I thought that was interesting,、um, because now that I, now that I work for a company that does that, now I literally have like one floating holiday in December. It's so that people with that celebrate all the different things can like choose which one they want to have off, which I think is nice.、Um, Uh, someone said daily tarot draw, which obviously I think that's cool.、Mm-hmm. Um, spending log. I feel like you need more space than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too little. That's too little.、Um, travel plans. I thought that was nice too. Ink log. See, that would be fun. Every single day, a different ink, or maybe it's more like you should be like me, currently inked. <gasps> So、oh, cute! I just okay, that's a, exactly what you're doing. I just keep a running tracker because、yeah. the thing is, like my, you know, but for you it probably be not enough space. But for me, it's been working out well. Like I constantly have like around ten. I feel attacked. <laughs> ten, ten. I have、pens. way more than ten inked all the time. <laughs> I I constantly have ten pens inked, and then I like. They slowly dry out, like so. It would be like wash、mm-hmm. two, add、yep. three, wash th- four, add two, and then so whenever I, <laughs> I add, I start writing it. Down, like I wrote down which pen, which ink, but I don't cross out what went out. So it's okay, just no, like that's a, good. It's like a cu- curated rainbow of like, oh, these、I、are all the、that. inks I used this year, and it happens to just like my cadence of switching up ink happens to just match. The month. It's not like exactly in the <laughs> column of September. It's all the inks I added. Yeah, like, there's crossover and stuff, and so、um, it's been really great because this is the I'm using the Avec. So obviously, I、right. filled up the first Avec version like all six、yep. months. So that was like a really nice spread. So I'm and see, I've got the Hone, so I don't know what I'm even doing with this big giant thing, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited.、Nice. Um. Okay. There's a few more pets meds tracking. Someone specifically said, "I use it to keep track of my old lady cat,、mm. <laughs> the the meds I give her." Oh. <laughs> like, oh.、Um, one word to describe each day. Nice.、Uh, monthly vision board with stickers. I think that was actually Exoraco. Hi, I'm calling you out. Cause, <laughs> cause That's a cute like, way. She was like, "Yeah, it's、uh, you know, it's like a fun." Little column that you can just sticker. Also, hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. We might have to pause it. 
No, I'm not. It went away. I hate it whenever I talk about it. Okay. And I'm keeping that in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset. Um, washi slash pet tape samples, which mm-hmm. also for not April. Not enough that, space. That for sure would not be enough for April. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, milestones, which is, you know, what you were talking about. Uh, one good thing per day. And then high slash low lights. Ooh. which i don't know that's kind of interesting that is kind of like the highlight portion like yeah the indexing part if in my opinion yeah. i would use it that way highlights low lights stuff like that yeah. the one word a day thing is interesting too it would be just like anger 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 i know mad, <laughs> sad and just the f word over and over again. <laughs> yes that's, that's the, right that's right that's we only can't in the say summertime. it but like <laughs> F, 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 melting F. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do like that. I feel like for me that might get too, re- not repetitive. I mean, possibly. Or I just came up with another one. You could write the Wordle word and how many what? guesses you got it in. Oh, that's actually really cute. That's a fun tracker thing for you. Oh. <laughs> Your favorite kind of thing. I do Wordle every single day. And if I miss it, I get really sad. If I am learning another <laughs> language that's like written in like Romanized letters, I could do a word a day. Like if I'm learning French or something. Oh, yeah. See, the only reason I'm coming up with more. Yeah. If I, <laughs> With kanji, with Chinese and Japanese, or even Korean, it's too large, in my opinion, to fit into the grid. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's very small. It's very thin. These are like the at least my cousin one is the Japanese cousin, so it's the three point five milliliter. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and this is the. Is it really that different? What's this one? Four. The English one. I think oh, it's, it's four. oh, it's it's point five bigger. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. Well, actually, I don't know if it's bigger in those sections. I think oh. it's just bigger in the regular grids. Maybe these sections have the same. I think it looks the same to me. No, yeah. maybe it doesn't. Oh, it's hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. So we sit and wait for Kelly to flip back and forth a little bit. <laughs> I just, I keep picking up my hone and I just really love it and I'm excited to use it. Nice. Oh, anyway, right, what, okay. What that was, other that was new things spiel. you want to talk about? Oh, you have the pen. Yeah. So here's and I, the thing. And I and I counter it with a second pen. Yeah, you did. So I just want to talk about this because a new Esterbrook SD released, mm-hmm. and it is not. It does not appear to be something that I would care about at all. It's so boring. No, no. Okay, it's the Raven, right? <gasps> So I first boring. I want to cry. No, no, no. Okay. So first of all, it's actually a piston filler. Okay. So it's it's got a a button push button fill, which is cool because Esterbrook hasn't done that for a very long time. Um, and it's a matte black with a black nib. And then Kirk did his thing where he's like, "Ooh, I'm selling them with um a raven engraved onto it." Oh, sorry, but the pen is called the Raven, so it's really cool. And so the first thing I saw of this pen was the nib, and I was like, "Oh, Kirk! Kirk is the one that got me excited about it." Because and of the I, nib engraving. Because of the nib, but then seeing the pen, it's actually really sexy, and mm-hmm. it's just I'm really surprised at myself because I don't care about stuff like this, but it just made me go like, "Oh, I have to have it," but I I didn't buy it, but. <laughs> I don't know. I, I and, feel like I might. And that's why April will never join the Black Pen Society or whatever that is at DC. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's, this just gives me Lamy Safari Matte Black. Box. No, but it's an Esty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> It gave me Pilot Kappa's matte black oh, vibes. Like, you know, okay. But it's an SD, yes. <laughs> there's there's something about a matte black pen, and I've never really truly fell for any of them before except for this one. So I feel like that means something, and it's a sign, and I should buy it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, get it with Kirk Snips for sure. I know. Because that's to. the only thing making this pen fun. Yeah. Well, according to April. Are you an April or a Kelly in this moment? <laughs> I think there'll probably be a, a, a split. Um, 50-50. And then the other pen that released that I was immediately really excited about and then kind of backtracked and went, hold on. It's another Pro Gear Slim. I have so many Pro Gear Slims, but I it's really realize. cool. I didn't it's... realize it's a Pro Gear Slim. Yeah, of Sorry. course it is. <laughs> I think. I'm I mean, sometimes sure. Ancora does Pro Gears, so. Yes. So Ancora released a moon pen, which of course, hello, I love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It has um, Kelly all over it. Like... It's all kawaii magical girl. It might as well be a Sailor Moon pen. It's got a moon on the finial. It's got a moon on the nib. Yes. Um, apparently it also has its own matching ink, which looks a lot like Neko Yanagi. So I don't feel like I'm missing out too much. No, but I think anyway. the, the ink you can miss. But if yeah. you were in Japan, we went to Ankara, would you buy this? Oh, for sure. I, okay. I, but the the thing is, though, like, because I asked... see the, lace, the engraving on the nib? It's like yes. magical, it is stardust, very cute. It's so good. Sprinkle moon. It's I, not so, a boring moon. It's a great moon. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to be like, see why, can you, like, pick one up for me? And then I was like, wait, no, I shouldn't do that. And then I showed it to my roommate and she was, she talked to me the next day and was like, Kelly, I think this might be my sailor. Like, cause she doesn't have a sailor. She's like, I think this is the one. And so I was like, see why, why, you know, what can you do about this? He's like, well, I'm working that day, so I might not get there in time. And I'm like, well, the thing is like, yes, if I was in Japan, I would just do it. But with that being said, Ancora is doing global shipping now. Ooh. But it feels stupid because I'm going to be there. It's like... Well, why don't you just wait till you get there? If it's yes. there, then it's meant to be. Because with the rate, yes, it's 100%. like $200. I know. It's really a good price. And you can probably even tax-free it too. Like, oh, yeah. Like not break it out of the packaging, which is going to be hard for you. I hate I hate doing that. Um, <laughs> but then you My probably... My mom get... did that with the Hobonichi stuff. I was like, cool. ugh. No. <laughs> oh, because she kept it in the tax-free packaging. Yeah. That's that the was, thing. That was, it's gonna be hard. this trip is gonna be fun because it's gonna be a Kelly versus tax free packaging <laughs> all the time. Like at Loft, do you do tax free? Um, like, like yeah. travelers, do you do? And they do. <laughs> and then you have to not open them until you're home. So. But okay, yes. Which, if, would you, if, if that pen like would, is there, yeah. Sorry, if that but, pen's there, what nib I'm would totally you get? get it. What nib Broad. would you go? That's what I was gonna say. Yes. <gasps> really? And then you can I... put in sparkly inks to match. See, this is also a broad, this sailor. But I don't put sparkly inks in it because it's a fancy pen and I don't want to put sparkly inks oh, in it. But it would pen. be so good for this I pen. I know. It would. It would be so awesome. <sighs> All right. Well, Ooh, I... it would look really good with Anki, which I just inked up in something that uh wearing gold ink the wearing gold inky yes. yeah that's a beautiful ink it's like oh. a blue-ish teal it's thing. pretty pale but like a it's very really pale pretty. teal i think yeah yeah mm-hmm. so good nice um oh god april's got a lot going on here <laughs> well do you want to talk about the things you're looking forward to first oh. and then i can end it with mine <laughs> okay yeah so i i wanted to um make it this is a PSA for everybody ever. So you ever make plans with your best friends, like going to Vegas for some music festival, and then the time to go kind of creeps up on you really suddenly. And then like, so my friend, one of my friends like brought up, oh, I actually don't know how, who's going to watch my cats. I think I'm going to have to take them to my mom's because her next door neighbor who usually watches them is going to be in town that weekend. So she was like stressing about that. And then my other friend was like, yeah, this is kind of creeping up on me. Like I wouldn't be mad if one of you wanted to cancel, LOL. And I was like, you guys, let's cancel. (laughs) (laughs) And it was like, you know, none of us wanted to be the one to say it. To to cancel, yeah. But But once we all decided, we were like, oh my God, we're so happy that we're canceling. (laughs) (laughs) No, I definitely, those moments definitely happen and they're lovely. Yes. Yes. Because we would have had a good time. It's going to be a great show. It's the When We Were Young show, Las Vegas, all those 
punk pop punk bands from Ooh, when we were that kids. one with the chemical or, romance and stuff i don't think my chemical romance is there okay but green day blink 182 uh oh my god i'm blanking on everything those oh are the two gosh. like main headliners but like everyone else is really cool and we would have had a great time but it's something that like if it were in portland we totally would go but mm-hmm. since we have to go to las vegas and do the flights and like the whole travel and we're oh, we're like you already you haven't figured out all of that yet i mean we did but we just weren't <laughs> we just didn't want to do it. <laughs> didn't commit to it. We, it. we didn't want to do it. So I just wanted to throw out there that it's important to um listen to your feelings about that stuff and you know, you could just lightly bring it up and then maybe your friends will want to cancel and then you'll stay home and have a great time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And then, like, it's like, oh, look at all this time I have now, right? right? Like, all the all the space and time and things, yeah. opportunity to do other things just opens up for you. Like, lovely. Uh, I love opportunity it. Opportunity to open more of my boxes and stuff. <laughs> it's a know, whole thing. Especially with you moving. I can imagine just, like, traveling and stuff. It's just going to add so much more. Yes. Yep. Not fun. No fun. Well, I'm glad you cancel and you got to take yeah. care of your mental health first. <laughs> yes. So good. Nice. So, okay, April is talking about planners and I'm excited about it. <laughs> I So this is the ending talk and then it ended up being like it spiraled out of control because I was I was going to comment <laughs> yeah, on the fact. like a million things. <laughs> I was going to comment on the fact that I think I have my Techo Kaigi down. I changed but, my mind about Han. I was going to buy the English Han in the A6 in the CAD, but I decided not to, like a responsible adult. because AKA betraying me because we could have been a cute family of cats. No, because I have <laughs> so many like A6 TRP notebooks just in a mm. box. So I was like, I could literally yeah. redate them and just use them as a daily yeah. planner. So anyway, that's what's happening <laughs> there. Um, but I was I wanted to comment on the fact that people seem to are like l- lowering their guards because now that Sterling Inc is all shipped, Hobonichi is all done, Travers Company's uh-huh. all out, you know your your usual suspects. Yep. But have you guys checked out all the Taiwanese planners that are coming out? <laughs> all Apparently the Asian, not. All the Asian planners is like coming oh, out of no. the. No, I didn't look at them until this moment. Um, oh, shoot. so I just want to give a little PSA. I, I call it like the planner battle is officially beginning because <laughs> now, now is the time when all the Taiwanese and like Asian creators, like there's some Hong Kong artists in there, one from Australia. So, um, Bushi Men Paul, um, you guys know about her. She does the Kokuyo, uh, manufactured by Kokuyo, but branded P-A-L Paul by mm-hmm. this uh, amazing YouTuber, uh, Chinese YouTuber called Bushiman, who's based in, out in New Zealand, and so my goodness, that that green. So <laughs> the, the green is really nice. It's a B six size planner. It's like um, it's one of those where it's like the grid, like in one, on one page, there's four boxes, mm-hmm. and then she had designed her grids to look kind of like like each box has like a vertical line in the middle so you can further divide that box into the left and right section so Bushman Paul she kind of has her own style she she really developed a way to use that style of planning for herself and it's 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 a great sell last year and I think you can get them on Yoseka get them mm-hmm. on the blank note um, some other places too I think it's one of so, the ones that ended up in Kelly's planner graveyard actually i gave mine to mike so that he could use it for scrap paper i i tried that out too but it didn't work out for me but i just want to share it because it yeah no i mean people. i don't hate on the creator at all it's a it's a really cool product it just wasn't we just have too me. many notebooks so. <laughs> <laughs> second one take a note i mean they've been also out great. for a bit um so they introduced a b6 size this year uh, did you see that Which, oh yeah so they've a B6 o- girly. 
they used to be <laughs> A5 size and A6 size, and they have like in their, they're one of the first ones to model similarly to the Hobonichi, in my opinion, but with their own twist on it, which mm-hmm. is like two days per page. So, I really like that layout. Which, I always think about that plan. <laughs> this take a note has helped me through Cookie's puppy. Period. Oh, really? Like during that first hectic like one month where I'm tracking his poop schedule and pee schedule and like <laughs> oh, no. that take a note saved my life and then <laughs> I further brightened up with ACNH Animal Crossing like mm. spreads <laughs> so oh gosh yeah that, I remember that 2020 yeah, take, take a note was great for me in 2020 uh, I just didn't have more space for it um, in the future um so and, you know, Take a Note's been innovating. They have, like, the A5 Slim refills. They have mm-hmm. their new, like, Red Kurtz line, which is kind of like a weak size uh, refill. But anyway, really fun options there. TRP, uh, Tomoe River Paper, and just really good design layout. Um, also from Taiwan. The next one is one of my recent one that I abandoned, but I still want to shout out because it's so cool. The Fleur Year Lab. Fleur Year Lab from Taiwan. They rebranded kind of like their their planner line. Um, their brand overall is still Fleur Year Lab, but it's also called Simple Quiet. And their planner series are called Narrow, N-A-R-R-O, kind of following the word narrative. Like write mm-hmm. your own narrative, so um, so they do A five and A no sorry B six and A six size. Mm-hmm. So for twenty twenty four, B six is this beautiful kind of leafy kind of imagery really nice. on the cover. It's, it her vibe is just like serenity, meditation, yen, zen, <laughs> <laughs> yen, yin yang. I meant to say <laughs> I said yen, zen. So her. Uh, B6 size is called Yunye, which is like cloud and leaves. And then mm. her A6 size is Xiaoyang, which is like kind of twilight theme. And so mm-hmm. it's that, that really nice hazy um, cover that's kind of watercolor-ish. And she's a, she's a very like good writer. And so her, her phrases, although all in Chinese, are all very like poetic and really speaks to mindfulness, narrative, um, mindfulness, meditation, stuff like that. She also has a digital planner, so if you use your iPad, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> you can buy her digital planner called Shen Shen, and it's it's like it, I went in and explored the layout of her digital planner. It's actually pretty cool because it even has like a, a weekly kind of kind of page where you can mm. like track down. Um, how do I feel today? Oh, what are I things to be grateful like for? What do I accomplish today? And then you can take that into like a weekly basis. And I feel like that's the great thing about digital planners that on like no limits to how many pages you can have. So they yeah. even have like weekly goals, weekly review next week. So overall, a really thoughtful design. Like she's been designing planners for years, even like before a few, a few of the more memorable, like more noticeable ones recent years. Um, highly, highly recommend. Also, Tomorrow River Paper. So, um, yeah, just amazing. And she, if you buy from her and ship it overseas, she her packaging is immaculate, and she includes like these like really nice little thoughtful pieces too, like perfumed. Um, oh, really? Marks oh. stuff like that. And so recently, she's been selling these wooden combs. I just I really, looked at those. I really want to buy them. They look it so nice. It actually is really appealing. <laughs> and they were, she was like saying you can use it to massage like the side of your head, your yeah. neck, stuff like that. So her whole vibe is very <laughs> like well-being, take care of yourself, which which is why I bought it last for this year for my health journaling. So I, I use it here on, on and off, B6 size. But I realized I should have just gone for the A6. Um, our studio, of course, another oh, year yes. of uh, Hank's Diary and Bear Koopa. And this year, I kind of was joking, like, I feel like their style has jobified. Like, <laughs> like very, yeah. they're, they're very into, like, vintage photos or, like, um, oh, yeah. developing photos, films. And so this year, uh, for 2024, their, co- their cover of their research diary is what they call it research journal um has like these photos of like 
trains from Japan, tulips, so very like photograph themed, and even on like the weekly spreads because they're also the gridded eight box across two page style mm -hmm. are all like little collage elements of like photos with words with like little ephemera pieces which really reminded me of Job style <laughs> so yeah, is sure. Job becoming them or are they becoming Job <laughs> <laughs> just just something funny that I thought about um <laughs> so really quirky um Hank's Diary's old style used to be very like art and illustration drawing related. So this is kind of stepping into more of like a photo collaging element. So maybe some people will drop off because of that or some people might come on because of that. I feel like there's, there's it's very interesting. I like their journal a lot. Um, Thinking of You um, by Mr. Eggplants um, and Thinking of You book is another Tomori River paper planner. Um, a five size uh, usually she only does one style and this year the cover has this like really like bright blue cheerful sky with like a little paper what do you uh, call pinwheel pinwheel thing and it looks way different than her other her, ones and... her old ones all had like kind of like a herbal leaf yeah based theme so this one she really went like kind of like you know like the camera turned up to the sky instead of like focusing yeah. on shadows and light um the theme is frolic uh, to playfully dance and like frolic around um so her books um are an interesting layout that's like quite unique like her own style where it's like it's like vertical columns but they also differ in width based on whether that month has like so certain days like Typically, they try to fit four columns into a page, but if a month is short and that one page only has like Saturday and Sunday, then those columns became wide. So it's yeah. it's very interesting. It's very unique and it's very like collage friendly. It's great for the, the minimalist, but also like artistic collaging style uh, writers or journalers, if you want to mm -hmm. document it that way. Um, I really like it. Like it felt very refreshing in my opinion, the, the style. Yeah. Um, so that's Thinking of You. I know I always talk about the Hello Studio, uh, which is this creator from Taiwan that draws the oh, cute little fox. No. Kuchi Journal is the name, which is oh, the name oops. of the fox. Kuchi, which is uh, the name for the fox. Um, uh -huh. But this year, if you buy their journal, she gives you four cover page to switch out. So you can like switch oh, up seasonal. the cover. You oh. can switch up the cover of your planner, which is really cute. cute. It has like embroidered bookmarks, oh, which is really no. cute. And the layout, you have to, you kind of have to scroll down that link a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, it's kind of that week's layout where it's like mm -hmm. on the left side it, of the left page is like rows. One to Monday to Sunday, and then on the right side is like blank or gray or dark red. I think it differs based on different pages. And then throughout the book, there's just this cute little fox kind of like frolicking around. I love and the illustrations. I They're know the so illustration cute. is so cute. And it's like camping theme. So it's very PNW, very outdoorsy. And then. Well, and there's a, a lot... map of the world and a Taiwan map. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of fun miscellaneous pages in the back as well. Um, you get a free, uh, what do you call it, plastic sheet with it, sticker sheet, stuff like that. I'm trying to find what is the paper material. But I have a feeling she always uses the more of like these Taiwanese planner paper that's not TRP. Um, oh, but great, like but good for stuff. stamping and like, yeah, oh, it's not going to bleed through. Stuff. Oh, it's so yeah. cute. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what exactly. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the same type of paper that our studio had. Oh, the, okay. The same paper but that our studio used. Nice. Um, so there's that. So this one is B6 size. About B6. B6 is popular. B6 is quite popular in Taiwan. So this is B6 size. If you want something cutesy in B6. It's really tempting. Um, Carol Meow, have you? Okay, yeah. What's up with this one? I, I, you had me at Meow. 
<laughs> well, Carol <laughs> Mail is like this super amazing、uh, illustrator that's based in Australia, and she does the florals. Like she does like all these florals、mm. in all her tapes, like sticker sheets, memo pads, and so she came out with a planner too. And、um, trying to figure out what the layout looked like. It's kind of like the the hours or the pal, but、oh, but it has like timeline on like the left side, and、that's, it's not like a confined cool. box, which I kind of think is cool. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, this is a definitely an interesting layout.、Um, Let me see what the size is. I really should have prepared in advance, but looks like an A five or we don't ever do that. This is not the podcast that prepares in advance. <laughs> I think it's an A five. I think it's an A five size. So if you want a book that's already almost pre decorated with her amazing illustration, like the flor- floral herbal theme,、mm-hmm. this is the one to go. Like I feel like that's kind of the trend. Like in Japan, they like it to be like minimalistic. Of course, if you go to WAP, there's also like the cute kawaii illustrator, <laughs> like decked、oh, out、yeah. planners, journals. But then a lot of people really went for like a more Uh, empty and blank, and decorate and make it your own style. But a lot of these creators obviously want to showcase their artistry,、um, their signature style. So they decorate their planners and diaries. I'm、such. also gonna pivot really quick and talk about. I just went to the Pinkoi site,、mm-hmm. and she has a daily tearaway calendar. She does. It's and it's really、beautiful. pretty. <laughs> It's very. Be- I saw it at a Creative Expo. It's so good.、Oh, <laughs> Or no, no, no. I don't think you she didn't buy it. Oh、uh, no, no, no. She showed it to some people at、oh, Creative、okay. Expo. I think she. It wasn't made. Um. But yeah, it's a tarot calendar that features a bunch of flowers that she drew. It、yeah. like you know writes about the flowers, stuff like that. It's very、really、nice.、Uh, her stuff's really、I、pretty. Mean, Tearaway calendar is a whole other category. I'm not getting into、oh, today、geez. in this episode. I can't, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> You're holding on to one for me that I ordered、yeah. like a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> And then let's see.、Uh, last two are both、uh, by this brand. This brand that makes planner in Taiwan called Dimanchi, D I M A N C H E. And they make this series called 365 notebooks, which are basically. Undated planners,、mm. so there's like monthly sections, and then there's like weekly pages, but they all can be dated by yourself.、Uh, and so they did like a special collaboration with、uh, Pinkoi,、uh, which is that site that sells arts and crafts. So it's like the Taiwan Etsy,、um, mm-hmm. and she, they, not she, they collaborated with two artists that a lot of us in the German community would love. Two very famous Taiwanese illustrators. One is Yamadoro, so that the、mm-hmm. one that draws the Mr. Bird, and so basically it's the Yamadoro theme 365 planner, undated planner with her signature illustration, the cover, a little bit of design.、Um, you have to like expand that description to see what's inside, but、um, really amazing、um, illustration if you wanted her, like her style. Uh, as the theme of your your year's、yes. planner, and then the other artist is Da Yu Yo Yo,、uh, which is another more whimsical kind of like animated animation character, cute little、mm-hmm. kind of all over the place illustration that's a little bit more colorful. So they also collaborated and did a planner with her too, and they're all undated. I think they are about three six size. I'm trying to see what is twenty one fourteen thirty eight. They don't really use、mm. the. It's either B six or A five. It looks like B six or A five size. Well, they both come with pencil boards. That's nice. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for that enabling, April. None of us long, needed that long list of planners <laughs> that might butt into your consideration this year.、Uh, I'm pretty set over here. I'm not. I'm like not, not gonna partake in any of these,、um, except the floor your lap comb, which I'm still thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about it too. It's really oh, cute. Oh my goodness! So. So yeah, that's it for this episode. A lot of things that I presented for people to think about. Could use poke your setup again. <laughs>、um, 
and it was nice catching up. So I look forward to the next time. Yes, definitely. Let's see what what we have in store. So again, this is April from Penguins Creative and Kelly from Kelly Love Letters. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.